Hello, my name is Julia Matthews and I am currently a graduate student here at Tarleton State University studying Athletic Administration. My current job title is Administrative Assistant at the Wesley Foundation here at Tarleton and my career focus is Athletic Administrator with the United States Olympic Committee or the International Paralympic Committee. So what does it mean to be a team player? While looking at job descriptions and qualities that an organization is looking for, I couldn't help but notice one common theme to be a team player. So what is it? A team player is a person who plays or works well as a member of a team or a group. So I looked up uh, an article on monster.com and it was an article written about how to be a better team player. In the article, they had the top five ways to be a better team player. Number one, meet your deadlines. When you're doing one part of a large, larger project, as is often the case when you're on a team at work, you can hold up everyone else if you don't get your work done on time. A good team player is someone other team members know they can depend on them. Number two, be candid. Glenn Parker, a team building consultant in Princeton, New Jersey, and author of Team Players and Team Worker, New Strategies for Developing Successful Collaboration, believes companies used to have a one-dimensional view of a team player, someone who worked hard and didn't ask questions. But this isn't entirely true. This doesn't mean managers want to be undermined, but many do appreciate suggestions and constructive criticism. Number three, adapt quickly. You may work with teams whose members are in different locations. It's likely you'll be a member of several different teams at work, each focused on a different goal. One way to demonstrate how adaptable you are is to offer to change the way you work if it seems uh, to help your teammates. Attitude is also important. People used to assume that trust among team members had to be built over a long period of time. Number four, appreciate others' work styles. One person may be good at facilitating communication, yet another likes to challenge the group's assumptions. The best teams will have a mix of these styles and members who appreciate others' contributions tends to work better than groups that don't. And finally, number five, avoid politics. Avoiding workplace politics was second only to meeting uh, the deadlines when defining a good team member. This means that you don't let yourself get distracted by issues that aren't crucial to a team's mission. So with this video, I hope you learned what it's like to be a better team player. I know I have. Thank you for watching my video and make sure to follow me on Twitter. Have a good day.